Hey everybody, welcome to Jersey Concept Friday here on the channel. If you're new, my name is Neil, and every single Friday, well, maybe not lately, <laughs> but usually every single Friday, we look at Jersey Concepts from the community, uh, usually all NHL jerseys. And we look at some other stuff, uh, some other random parts of the months and the weeks and the year. But uh, yeah, Fridays are for NHL Jersey Concepts. But I will have to say this, next week there unfortunately will not be one. I will not be available to film next week and I'm running out of time this week to film it for next week. So unfortunately next week we will, you will not have one of these videos, but the following week on Friday you definitely will. This time we're looking at stadium series concepts. I think these are going to be pretty good. It's always great looking at like just regular jersey concepts, but whenever we have a series to look at, I love that. That's going to be awesome. These are by Brandon and I've not seen these before. So this is going to be a reaction video. So I'm just going to bring it up on my screen here. Uh, let's jump in. Let's see what he's got. Okay, so it looks like we've got, uh, it says Ohio Stadium. Okay, so that's, I guess, the, lo lo whoa, the location along the right. In terms of the uniforms, or I thought these were just jerseys. These are uniforms. In terms of the uniform, uh, yeah, I like it a lot. I like the cream or the off-white aspect for Columbus, which they, I think, are allowed to use for sure. I really like the socks. The socks are awesome. I like the arms as well of the jersey. I'm not digging the cream or off-white color in the inside of the jersey, I'd probably remove that and just allow the blue to kind of breathe through the entire middle of the jersey. Everything else, pretty decent. Let's move on. Uh, okay, so this is who they were facing. Ooh, hello, love, what's your name? This is a nice uniform. It is so often than not that white pants do not work on a uniform in the NHL. However, I don't know why this works in my mind, but it it, I feel like it does. I feel like the white pants here aren't really that big of a deal. And I'm actually okay with them. I don't know if it's because there's a bit of red at the bottom of the jersey that kind of breaks up the amount of white that's in the entire jersey in general or what. But I actually really like this. I don't know if I would change really anything. I mean, it still would be okay with, with, with red pants. But yeah, this is a nice uniform. Of the two, I think I would prefer this one. Yep. Okay, next. Uh, yep, so location along the right. And so we've got the flyers here. Yeah, not bad. Nothing wrong with this. Um, nothing, I would say amazing. It's not my favorite flyer jersey that or uniform that I've ever seen, but that's yeah, pretty good. Let's move on. Pittsburgh, of course, as you know, pretty predictable there. This is pretty dang nice, actually. So usually when people go back into the Penguins history, all the way back to 1967, they grab that blue, they try to put it into a modern uniform. Almost all always they it's a dark version of a uniform or a jersey not often they go the white direction or the the away direction here so it's kind of nice to see that and it actually works quite well none of the blue is bothering me i think it's complementary to the yellow it's complementary to the white and the black the only thing that's bothering me here is i think the numbers i and i don't know why i don't know if it's because it's like it's black with a yellow stroke with a white stroke it's almost maybe a little bit too much on that blue maybe it's a white number with a black stroke or something. I, I don't know. It just feels a little bit off in the numbers, but otherwise it's a nice uniform. I prefer this one over the Philadelphia one if we're going matchups. Okay. Yeah. hundred percent immediately. Absolutely. I, I really like this a lot. Um, great transition from the pants into the socks. Lovely colors. Great logo. It's a, it's a very fashionable era of the LA Kings. So yeah, bring it back. Stars. Okay, so that's who they're facing. So I guess is, this is kind of the inverse version of their alternate kind of glow-in-the-dark jersey. Now this, I think, is worse than that, but this isn't bad. I don't love this. Definitely don't hate it. I think it's average overall. I would go LA in the matchup. Seattle. Okay. So nice shoulders. I like that. Uh, decent arms, I guess. Uh, the red. For some reason, the red's throwing me off at the, at the bottom of the jersey. I like the amount of red in the shoulders. I actually love that. I like the incorporation of the two logos together in the middle. That's nice. Gloves are nice. Socks are decent. Pants are decent. Yeah, something's throwing me off with the right in the bottom of the jersey, but it's a nice uniform. Oh, Vancouver Canucks. I, you know what? I really like this. I like the green shoulders a lot. I like the swatch of blue. Uh, they balance nicely, actually, the blue. If you look at the, the amount of, the, the, the amount of percentage of blue blocks, we'll call them blocks, in a uniform, or not in a, in this uniform, it's balanced very nicely by Brandon here. And this can really be thought of in, in kind of percentages. So look at the top of the jersey, the amount of percentage that the blue is taking up at the top of the jersey, which is kind of just below the shoulders on both arms. And you can count the logo there too if you want, but just, you know, I'm just talking about the, the design, not necessarily the logo. Now, 
take that percentage and what you think in your mind, and then take that percentage and then look at the gloves in the middle section of the jersey. It's roughly the same amount of blue, isn't it? And then take that percentage and look at the bottom of the, of the socks. Maybe not as much, but still a pretty close percentage. So balance-wise, it's really nicely done from top to bottom. And that just, it helps your brain visually, just like subconsciously, you don't even realize it. it just The balance is there, which makes a beautiful kind of layout of a jersey. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's a little bit busy because there's a lot of color switching and stuff, but it's very different for, for Vancouver. I like it. I like it a lot. Probably my favorite so far, actually, with the whole series. Next. Oh, Vegas. You know what? I, I'm, I'm kind of digging that alternate logo. Just like two-tone, or red, like on red on black, two-tone. That stands out so nicely on the black. Yeah, I'm down for this. Good, 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 good one. Florida, wow. Okay, what is happening here? Uh, I don't feel like the white pants work here. It, this feels like a Frankenstein of a uniform. It's almost like you've got gloves from the Kansas City Scouts and you've got socks from the Nashville Predators and you got a little bit of Florida Panthers influence in there. But at the same time, there's also maybe a little bit of St. Louis Blues in there. Yeah, there's there's definitely a lot going on. I, I'm a little conflicted. It's almost too much, actually. I love the... Like from the elbows up of this uniform, I think it's great. The logo actually lo looks pretty decent on there as well. Typically, I prefer maybe like a version of the original. I think that logo suits this uniform quite well. Gloves are decent. Yeah, just, there, there is something throwing me off. I think it's just a little bit too busy. Nashville. Wow. Uh, for a split second in my mind, I mean, I said the word Nashville. It came out of my mouth, but I was thinking Pittsburgh a little bit. It's because of the yellow, uh, the, the amount of yellow, and then the location of the yellow as well. Pittsburgh does use that bit of kind of a blocking area for their numbers as well. I Oh, I just noticed the Titans and a little bit of Titans inspiration in the helmet there. This is nice, actually. I really like this. I, I think that's a perfect amount of yellow to be used. Again, we're talking about percentages. Look at the percentage of yellow at the top and yellow at the top of the socks. Great balance there. And yellow is a very vibrant color, so it stands out. So when you have a vibrant color like that also balanced nicely, man, it's great. So yeah, it's nice, nice uniform. Really nice one. The Rangers, sorry, I'm a little confused. I looked at the pants immediately and noticed that they were a different shade. It's almost like a gray, like a cool gray or something. Uh, but I don't see it anywhere else in the uniform, so I don't know if that was a mistake or intentional. If it was intentional in terms of color, I really like that color. It's a nice color. I'd like to see it somewhere else in the uniform, even if it replaced all of the white and they, that was the primary color of the uniform. It's 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 kind of nice. It's just a look at like a 2% of blue in there or something. It's just like a cool gray. It's really, really nice. In terms of the uniform, it's, it's you know, it's decent, yeah. The Bruins, ugh. Yeah, I think just on first impressions, I, I don't know if the brown plays nicely to the layout of this jersey. I almost think that you could go without the brown here or lay it out in a different way, possibly. I really like the, like, I, I like the middle of the jersey. Yellow is the primary color. Looks good for the middle of the jersey. I like the black and the white stripe in the background there. That looks, actually looks really good. It looks phenomenal. Pants are nice. Yeah, I don't know. The brown's throwing me off just a little bit. Next, the Montreal Canadiens. Now, the Montreal Canadiens have never been in a stadium series, so it's a little bit hard to judge. I mean, some of these teams haven't either, but Montreal, like they're they're obviously my favorite team if you watch the channel. But I don't know what they would do. Like with with some of the other teams, you can look back and be like, oh, you know, that's what they did before, so this is logical, yada, yada, yada. But with Montreal... Bit of a wild card, actually. They're traditional, but sometimes the odd time they do take a bit of a risk. I don't know. It does feel busy. I like, I don't know if I like the white stripe at the bottom of the jersey. It matches with the gloves nicely because you've got that section of white and the gloves is at the same like horizontal level. I don't know. I like it more than the Boston one, but I think it's a little bit too busy still, unbiasedly. Next, the Buffalo Sabres got some gradients here. Okay, so... The the yellow gradient in the middle of the uniform is very unfortunately placed. When you pee yourself and it soaks in, depending on the fabric or the color of whatever you're wearing, it could appear yellow. And because there's a gradient in that section, it looks like it's soaking outwards from the crotch region. So it kind of looks like this person in this uniform has peed themselves. That's probably not what you want, but I love the idea of the gradient. I think that looks good there. Could we swap it? And you'd have to redo their mat, who are they, they're facing. I don't know who they're facing coming up next, unless if I go back one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, I don't know who they're facing. We'll find it soon.
But if we, maybe we inverse it where it, maybe blue is the color that's in there and maybe yellow is the primary color or white is the, you know, maybe Buffalo's the away team here or something. But yellow, I don't know, just, it looks like a pea stain kind of. The rest of the uniforms are really nice. And I like the gradient in general. It's just a little bit, unfortunately, placed in terms of color. The, okay, the Toronto Maple Leafs. Look at the gold in there. And look at the logo change. You know what? Not bad at all. I like the socks. I like the pants. Maybe a little bit too much gold in the middle of the jersey behind the logo, but I like it at the bottom. I like it in the arms. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice uniform, actually. Yeah, I like that. I like the gold in there. Uh, ooh, Tampa Bay Lightning. Oh, okay. I don't like the white pants here. You got a black helmet and white pants. The, like, the jersey is so good. The socks are literally perfect. They're amazing. But you lose me with the pants, I think, here a little bit, Brandon. I think that, um, yeah, I don't know. I just not digging the white. I just not digging the white. The rest of the jerseys, like, your uniforms are really good. I don't even, I don't even know if I change anything with the rest of the uniform, honestly. It's just, that's how good it is. But yeah, the white, the white pants are throwing me off. Carolina. Okay, so I mean, you think stadium series. We've got to think bold, a little bit aggressive. Well, what can Carolina do that would be aggressive? Well, they take that warning pattern that you see in, in all kinds of their stuff. You make it more visible, you make it bigger, and you make it almost a standout of the entire jersey other than the logo. That's exactly what he's done here. I think it looks pretty good. Little bit of confliction because you've got not much black at the top of the uniform, but you get all kinds of black in the, in, the, uh, in the middle section by the pants and the gloves, lots down by the skates as well. So I, maybe we'd like to see some, some black up top. Maybe if you just change the helmet to black, who knows? I'd have to see it, but uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice one. I like it. Uh, Chicago, okay, yeah, I I think this is this is very stadium series. I Chicago, like, what do they have left to do? They've been in so many Winter Classics and so many stadium series and just specialty games in general. They have no options. So this is, I think, would consider definitely innovative. And uh, yeah, it's good. Minnesota, okay, I'm gonna say no overall. I'll go Chicago. I think with this matchup. And I think it's the logo that maybe that's throwing me off a little bit. It it doesn't feel stadium series, this uniform. It feels almost winter classic, honestly. So, yeah, I don't know if it, I don't know how drastically a different logo would change this. I'm conflicted. I am conflicted. I think I like the Chicago one better. I know I like the Chicago one better, but this is, it's not bad, but yeah. Okay. Colorado. Well, I think the uniform is perfect. Like, Quite literally, I love the socks. I love the jersey. It's so good. The numbers, the helmet is perfectly colorized. Like this is such a well-balanced uniform. However, I don't know if I like that as a primary logo. I think I'd like to see something else, whether that's the current logo, primary logo, or something else. I just, the foot to me has never looked good as a primary logo on a concept at least that I can remember. I mean, I look at so many jerseys and maybe there has been in the past, but just, I, yeah, I don't know. It feels a little bit off. I want to see it somewhere else in the jersey and I want to see a different primary logo, but that's an amazing uniform. Oh, okay. Utah, what staged gradient in the pants. Okay, that's a first, I think. Well, there's definitely a lot going on here. We've got lots of color. We've got a yellow, a bit of a peach, an orange, a red, a maroon, a brown, a purple, white. I'm probably missing one. I, there, there's so much going on. Even though there's that much going on color-wise, it's still a pretty attractive jersey. To me, the confliction comes in color, I guess, structure. There's a lot of purple up above. There's like none down below. There's a lot of the earthy tones in the middle section of the jersey, but in the gloves and the pants, there's none at the shoulders above. So I'd like to see a little bit more purple in the middle or maybe a little bit more of those earthy tones up top. Uh, just again, it's all about balance for me. So, but other, other than that, it's a really, really cool uniform actually. That's the last one. Okay, my favorite, there's a lot of really good ones in here actually. Like uh, honorable mention, sh uh, honorable shout out to Nashville. Like that was a really good one. I liked that one a lot. Uh, the Vancouver one, again, w was, was pretty nice. Even the Pittsburgh one. Like that, that was really nice as well. I kind of feel like, oh man, I, I like that. I really like the Tampa Bay one. Like the, the pants are throwing me off a little bit there. But I gotta, man, I don't know. I don't know, actually. This is tough. 
I'm going to give it to Nashville. I like it. It's I, It kind of took me for, by surprise a little bit. I think that amount of yellow being used is, like, I don't want, I've been critical of Nashville getting rid of the yellow, but only as a primary color. I like it in their brand. And I think the designer here did a really good job incorporating the right percentage of yellow and location too. So I think this is a nice uniform and it's a very stadium series and it's quite different than anything that they've used in the past. So it's innovative, it's applicable, it's attractive, it's logical. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty great. So uh, Brandon, great job here on these jersey concepts or uniform concepts rather, absolutely fantastic job. Guys, let me know down below in the comment section if you've got a couple of minutes, what was your favorite uniform that you saw in this video? We'd love to hear from you. I'm sure Brandon would like some constructive feedback as well. And remember, if you wanna come up with concepts, it doesn't have to be uniform concepts, could be jersey concepts as well. Head on over to sportstemplates.net, use code post to post get yourself 10% off any of the templates on the site. There are over 70, so it doesn't matter what template that you wanna have fun with, whether it's hockey related or if it's basketball related or football related, there are all kinds of templates on the site, even free ones. You just wanna go over there, get a free one, play around in Photoshop and have some fun, please do. Send in your concepts, Details on how to do that are down below in the description. Let's see what you can come up with. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you. And we'll talk to you soon. Adios.